Hey, kids. Hey. I was lost in the corn maze, Miss Gina. I thought you were going to help me find my way out. Families are supposed to help oh. one another. Miss Gina, can you tell the kids where we're at this week for Sunday school? Well, kids, we are at Baldwin Farms in Richmond, Kentucky, and Mr. Eric and I have been playing in the corn maze. I bet some of these kids have been out here this year for maybe the pumpkin festival or maybe last year to pick out your Christmas tree. I know it's always so much fun out here, but look where we're at, guys. We're out in the cornfield. Now, can you figure out why we're out in the cornfield today? Miss Gina, should we give them some hints? Yeah, that'd be great. Well, first off, Miss Gina was supposed to help me in our corn maze and our theme this week is how families can show love and help one another and our story today is about a family in the book of Ruth so you know what to do grab your Bible have an adult help you and we're gonna learn about a family that helped each other out and loved one another and today we're in the book of Ruth can you all say Ruth Good. Okay, let's start out with Genesis and let's get on to where Ruth is. Okay, repeat after me. Genesis, Genesis Exodus, Exodus, Leviticus, Leviticus Numbers, Numbers, here's a hard one, Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy Joshua, Joshua Judges, Judges, Ruth. Ruth. So we're in the book of Ruth and this kind of goes between chapters one and four. So we're going to turn in our Bible in the very beginning, that means it's in the New Testament, and we're in the book of Ruth. So I want you all to listen to how this family loved each other and helped each other, okay? Let Mr. Eric get his old spectacles here. Now, Naomi was sad when her husband and her sons died, and she decided to move back to her hometown. She told her son's wife, Ruth, to go home to her own family but you know what Ruth loved Naomi so much she wanted to go with her so you know what happened next mr. Eric Ruth and Naomi made that trip to Bethlehem but you know what when they got there they realized they needed food to eat where do you think they found that food well we're gonna find out uh... Ruth, she went into the field just like this cornfield that we're in today and she went into the field to gather grain for their food. And she walked behind the workers and basically she picked up anything that was left behind after the workers got finished. Uh, so Ruth was kind of in a cornfield or a grain field, kind of like we're in today. So Ruth was in that field that belonged to a man named Boaz. Can you all say Boaz? Do you all know anybody named Boaz? I don't think so. But she was in a field that belonged to Boaz, and Boaz saw her and made sure that she had plenty of grain to pick up. Boaz was a relative of Naomi's, and Boaz knew Ruth was kind and helpful to Naomi. Naomi and Ruth were thankful for the food and thankful for Boaz caring about them. Did you say Boaz was a part of Naomi's family? Boaz was, yes. That's great, that's great. And later, Boaz and Ruth, they were married. And Ruth had a baby boy. What was the baby's name, Miss Gina? The baby boy was named Obed. Obed, do you all know any babies named Obed? I sure don't. Me either. But that's, a, that's the baby's name in our story, baby Obed. So Naomi, helped take care of the baby and Ruth and Boaz and Obed and Naomi all together were a very happy family and that's our story for today kids that's why we're out in this cornfield to learn about how Naomi and Ruth and can you say Boaz and baby Obed how they all made into one family they all loved each other and they all helped each other and took care of each other I have picture cards from our Bible story today friends and I have gotten them 
all mixed up and I need your help. Can you help me put these in the right order, friends? So at the beginning of our Bible story today, you remember that Naomi was very sad because her husband and her sons died. Do you see a picture of Naomi? And do you see a picture of Naomi with Ruth, who was the wife of Naomi's son? I think that might be the first picture. Do you see this picture of the ladies together? Let's put that one number one. And then what happened next in the story, friends? What happened next is Ruth and Naomi traveled to Bethlehem, but they needed food to eat. And so Ruth, what did she do? What kind of work did she do to help? Ruth went to the fields to gather grain for their food. Hmm, do you see a picture that looks like a young girl in the fields working, gathering grain? I think I found it over here. Let's put that as picture number two in order. We're making progress. Thank you for your help, friends. So the next picture, the next thing that happened in our story was Ruth was in the field that belonged to Boaz. And Boaz saw her and he made sure that she had plenty of grain because he was he was part of Naomi's family, and he wanted to make sure that Naomi and Ruth were taken care of, just like God wanted. Do you see Boaz talking to Ruth? I see it, it's right here. So that's the next picture that goes in order. Hmm, I wonder what our last picture might be, friends. So the last thing that happened in our story today is Boaz and Ruth were married and Ruth had a baby. And Boaz and Ruth named the baby Obed and Naomi helped take care of the baby. And Ruth and Boaz and Obed and Naomi were a happy family. Do you see a picture that shows their happy family right here, friends. And that's the last picture in our sequence. Hey, boys and girls. Our verse for today is show love to one another, Romans 12, 10. Let's say that all together. Show love to one another, Romans 12, verse 10. Hey, you. In the back row, you need to say it too. I'm watching you. Show love to one another. Romans 12, verse 10. Yay, thanks boys and girls. Today, the book we're going to be reading, friends, is called Love Your Family. And there's some questions that go along with this book that I'm gonna need your help with. God's plan is for family members to get along. Point to the pictures which show family members getting along. Do you see some pictures here, friends, where family members are getting along? Let's look at these together. Looks like here and here and here, I see some family members getting along and that's God's plan. Family members love and help one another. Point to the pictures which show family members helping one another. Oh, wow, friends, I see a lot of pictures here where family members are helping each other. Can you see some? What about this picture and this picture and this picture? I see family members helping each other. Family members can worship and tell about God. 
point to the pictures which show family members worshiping and telling about God. Oh yes, friends, do you see these pictures in the book? All right, so here I see people worshiping, and then on this page, I see friends telling friends or family about God. And then our last page here has our Bible verse. Romans 12, 10, show love to one another. And that's what God's plan is for families. Thank you all for joining us in Sunday School today and learning more about God and his plan for families. Let's close in a word of prayer. Dear God, thank you so much for this day. We thank you for your word, Lord, the Bible, that tells us about your plan for families. God, help us to love and take care of our families, just like you taught us to, Lord, and just like Ruth took care of Naomi, and then Boaz took care of their whole family, Lord. Lord, be with us and keep us safe, keep us healthy, and keep us learning about you every day, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hey kids, it's Miss Gina, and I'm filming today from the four and five-year-olds in kindergarten Sunday school class. Wanna invite you all to come at 9.15 on Sunday. Miss Pat and Miss Sheila have all kinds of fun activities ready for you all right here in the orange room. Remember, we're talking about families and how we can love each other and help each other. Hope to see you Sunday.